Hey guys, on this particular episode, we are going to be talking about this video that's been going out there viral of this Sangoma lady. I found her Instagram page quite interesting. As a matter of fact, the reason why she's going viral was for like two different videos. The first one was where she was dancing like a snake. And uh, then there was a second one where she was dancing with the hubbly over in her in Dumba. Her shrine, as you might actually call it. Reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. This particular channel we do daily Christian commentary videos we, on what we think about the Bible, truth, and how people handle it on the outside. Uh, we just render out commentaries here, make a judgment on what the truth is. Four feathers I do. Let's get straight to this. This is her Instagram page uh, right here. Um, cool. Yeah you can see the name okay don't have to read and so so and on her profile she has a mermaid right at the bottom there and she says my purpose now the reason why i'm pointing that out is that uh when you like, go to the second post here um there's this here okay we'll get to the voice but i'm not cleared on this one you can clear me on this point i'm just not clear on because on this video here, she goes to... Building a prophet myself, and Mfuna Skulumeng in Dabazan is the patience. Patience is very important and building your mood. So she's talking because about patience. People, just a second. Uh, and she gets it from the Bible. I we just hate waiting in general. But when it comes to God, patience becomes key. Okay, are... so that's what I'm talking about. Is that she... She has something to do with reading the Bible sometimes. She says she's a prophet uh, and at the same time she's a Sangoma. So from reading a Bible, speaking about God, uh, speaking about ancestor spirit, and there is something to do with the mermaid. I don't know what the connection is. Particularly when, I, when you speak of African spirituality, there's too much mixing. Like too much of everything inside it's a kind of like a mixed masala and i guess that's orders from people that buy things from her uh, or something like that the voice thingy again i'm not clear on I'm it. Picking you on. if i'm making sense because i'm an author okay so she says she's speaking about the orders and she's saying the orders are going to be prayed for to her voice thingy uh is that how she speaks when she has the ancestral spirit because here this is how she starts the video. The lighter. The lighter is there. Don't show your face. Don't stop now. It started. So her voice is clear here. And then... Okay, so I'm guessing maybe... That's how she speaks when her, the ancestral spirit is upon her. And so the video that's trending and then there's a lot of alcohol around her um, in a lot of her posts. There she has it inside a shrine and all that. Uh, actually, even in the earlier posts, there were posts where it was literally just filled with alcohol. So um, I don't know how does African spirituality like right here. It's just full of alcohol. So I don't know how African spirituality combines the working of all these things yeah. there's a lot of things here that reference back to what the bible says when it says god is not an author of confusion so meaning in his doctrines or in his teachings he's not bringing confusion being a prophet they pray for the items and they i don't know they use bones because i'm guessing that's thingy but also um the video that she's trending for, it's videos like this. Okay, she's doing a thing. And there's Zion music playing. And uh, she's doing her snake dance and all that. These are the videos that she is known for. Or the video that went viral. And actually there was an article, I think, on the Daily Sun as well over there about this particular thing okay so that's the video that she she trended for uh there is some other videos that are actually on the very same thing uh this one for example um uh, 
and she hits a spread and goes into snake dancing. Goes into snake dancing and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of things that I'm, I have questions about when it comes to African spirituality. How do you deal with all these mixtures? That she, another, the second video that she's actually trending for, actually, I think it's on her, it's this one right here. I'm not going to play it. So she's in her shrine and she has a, a hubli there. And uh, there's a snake cloth there. The cloth that is right above her there that the, the snake cloth right there at the back and she's dancing to ama piano inside her shrine her caption says a phone call in heaven amen gabriel so there's this mixture that i just don't understand uh with her on the other side she's supposedly preaching she's speaking about supposedly preaching and then you have this when you see so many so much mixture it's an introduction of confusion now, confusion, we're talking about doctrine, okay? It's not an offensive word. Uh, we mean uh, uh, confusion in the, in the sense of doctrine. God does not confuse in doctrine, okay? Uh, he simplifies, he rectifies, and he clarifies as well. And so, what we see in this entire hojas or in this entire story, how does one speak in the inspiration of God is supposedly a prophet but accepts communication from a serpent spirit. There is cloths that represent that and also accepts communication with uh, fallen angels in the waters which is what the mermaid whole idea is all about. How does one accept that except there is confusion in areas of doctrine? So, African spirituality hasn't asked those questions. How are these your ancestral spirits? How are these your ancestral spirits? And they are represented by spirits of the water. And some of our ancestors probably didn't even know how to swim, but <laughs> you know how to swim, but all of a the sudden they are represented by beings in the water. So there is a confusion in areas of doctrine there. Uh, somehow they are, they are coming back from the dead in interest to prosper us. How? They, some of them couldn't do it for themselves. But now somehow they know how to guide us in that area where they themselves didn't know how to navigate it. So there's, there's, there's an area of confusion in teaching, an area of confusion in doctrine. So just looking at from the outside in without getting too complex or anything uh, for anybody that's new to the subject i'll uh, i'll leave a link to in the description below not on the pin comments in the description below uh, kind of breaking down my thought process about the subject of ubungoma like what they are doing and all these things uh, I call it an illegal communication because the communication that is established by God is clearly through Jesus. But if, if you're not actually even going there, when God sends a message, he does not send ancestors. He sent angels. You can see it in the Bible. There's a record for that. It shows it. So, But how is it that African spirituality has accepted supposed ancestors? We have ancestors, but they're not the ones who are communicating. There is what is known as familiar spirits. And these familiar spirits can disguise themselves as people we know. In the Bible, God does not use ancestors. In the Bible, God clearly uses angels to make communication. So how then did we accept that our ancestors were supposedly communicating? It's because of the confusion of teaching. Confusion in doctrine. There's a serpent something. There's a mermaid in the in the in the mix. There's alcohol thingy. There is what there's too much confusion. It's party lifestyle, there's what with the hablies and what so there's just too much confusion.
that becomes accepted, that tells you no clarity. And in an area where there's no clarity, you know what you are dealing with. Sexuality show the daily Christian commentary videos. We can only comment and leave it there for everybody else to decide what they believe. Okay? Uh, this video is just, just to clarify. When the Bible says God is not an author of confusion, that's what he's talking about in an area of teaching and doctrine. He's not confusing. And so when I see a mixture of all forms of lifestyle in one, <laughs> yeah. when I see everything all in one, there's clearly a conflict in, in understanding biblical doctrine or what God says about his gifts. Yeah, his, his gifts don't cause uh, uh, the gifts of God add no sorrow. But these ancestral spirits, when they come, they add sorrow. I saw the first story about the snake dancing. I kind of avoided it. Then I saw the hubbly. I was like, how? Oh, is this the same person? Initially, I thought it was two different people. But then later on, I noticed that it was the same person. I was like, hi, bo. What's going on here? That's where this video comes from. It's Ricky, and I'll see you later on. Y'all be good. Y'all be blessed. And I'll see you in the evening. Salute.